What's up, guys? We're out here in Kentucky on uh, Jess property here. How, how big is this field? This is 10 acres right total here. On the other side of the creek there, too? Yeah, total of this whole holler okay. right here is 10 acres. Yeah. So we're standing in a 10-acre field, and this field is full of... Clover. Clovers, different types of grasses. There's, fes all... there's fescue, Johnson yep. grass, uh, a little bit of brome, timothy, orchard. But, you know, people comment all the time. Yeah. They can't plant a food plot. Can't plant a food plot. We're leasing this ground. We can't do this. We can't do that. The simplest thing we tell people to do is go grab a 50 pound bag of clover, mm -hmm. 100 bucks, and go over a sling. Talk to your farmer that you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. We cut this for hay, is what we do. Yeah. We have 45 acres of this. We sprayed a little bit of heck out of this with our micronutrients and fertilizer. So we got 45 acres of food plot that we're feeding the deer with because of all the clovers that are in there. And we're cutting it for hay. Mm -hmm. You know, now this doesn't make good horse hay, but it makes good uh, cattle hay mm -hmm. because they slobber with a bit in their mouth of clovers. But, you know, some of the fields that we have, we have a lot of clover in, and some is more grass for the horses and stuff like that. But um, then we have the agriculture side and all that other stuff. But don't overlook the power of these pastures. Yeah. I mean, this is unbelievable. I mean, you look right here, there's 10 acres of just mixed everything. And when you cut this, just like you see on the roadside or something like that, or on a, or any other hay field, you see, you know, the week week after that, man, the deer just swarming in yeah. it. Yeah. Well, even I mean, you're, when you if when you spray it, you're not only helping the growth, right, for more hay and this and that and the other, but you're also helping the deer. That's the two and, birds with one stone. <clears throat> yep. And even if you couldn't oversee what was here, let's say you were just leasing this field, or you had. 10 acres of field and 10 acres of woods or something that you're releasing. Right. You wouldn't need to, you couldn't, if you couldn't oversee Well, it, look at the browse line. Yeah, just spray it. Just spray all of your browse, spray the whole field. I mean, you got 15, 20 different varieties going along this whole field edge. Yeah. From head high all the way around. Right. And the deer eat the heck out of it. I mean, there's all, there's golden, or, I mean, everything, everything you can think of. Everything. Honeysuckle. There's um, everything you can think of. Yeah. But it's an easy way to attract deer without disturbing the ground you know if, oh, you're, yeah. if you're leasing the land and the farmer doesn't want you to right you know technically plant a food plot just spray it i mean it may not be as good as a as a food plot. it may not last you you know like winter wheat or, or something may last you all the way through but well that's one of the things you know we do here yeah. is we if you can't do the spring and summer this is yeah. awesome even in the fall mm -hmm. the clover stay good but yeah. we oversee it with winter wheat Right. So we cut that, we winter wheat with the hay, and then mm -hmm. when we cut that, it goes, you know, it dies off, and then all this comes back. Yeah. Um, one of the things I was going to say is don't underestimate the power of natural browse. Mm -hmm. You know, we preach it. I cannot say it enough. And another thing, too, on this 10 acre field, you spray this all, you know, two or three times a year every time we cut hay, right? Yep. Okay, we're going to be hunting, say we're going to be hunting in that back corner over there. So let's just spray 50 feet right around that you know that area, mm -hmm. and now the deer are so used to that, and they're going to be flocking to that one corner. Yeah, it's an easy way to attract deer and it is and benefit them as well at the same time. Yep, for no money spent. Yeah, I mean one gallon does five acres, that's it's 80 bucks, mm -hmm. and it breaks down to what per acre? Uh, 16 bucks. 16 dollars, 15 dollars, something like that. Mm -hmm. It's cheap. It is cheap. It's very cheap. You know, and a lot of guys say, well, I don't have enough ground. To warrant getting something that does five acres yeah. well, well it doesn't it freeze doesn't fall a yeah. solution yeah so you can I, use it next year i still got that bottle in my freezer in the freezer from four, four, four years, years ago four years ago never froze no yeah it's not going to freeze it's not going to go to waste no because we take it out of the freezer at yeah. the shop used it to make sure everything's good nothing's broke down put it back in the freezer and do that every couple three months and yeah. there's five six years on some some yeah. of the stuff yeah, it's not going to go bad no so if you guys have any questions leave a comment down below but don't overlook this if you can't don't feel discouraged if you can't plant a food plot yeah just just spray it your tractability and you'll help the farmer out by producing more hay exactly he'll actually be thankful yeah yeah see you guys see you.